Uh, so welcome to a special episode of Gallifrey Pirate Radio, where we're actually going to ex watch and talk about the season six part two trailer. I'm very excited about. Um, we're going to sort of talk about it as it's going on, because if you do want to see, you can uh, get it off the BBC website, both America and UK, and you can also get it from their Facebook pages. So I'm not going to bother showing it past that, uh, but we are going to watch it and talk through it. Might pause it, talk about what we see, and you know, just have a good time. So if there's something you guys want to stop and say, hey, stop, I want to talk about this, okay. or you see something cool, just tell me to stop and I'll pause it. And this is an experiment, so this is our first time doing this. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Davey Beauchamp. I am joined by Clayton Wick and Lacey the Sex Banner um, for oh, this special awful. episode. The Sex Banner, God. <laughs> yes, so let us start. What kinds of banners? My time is running out. And this is where it begins. I'm going to die. Something has happened to time. Thank you. I think you have just saved my life. Don't you need to kiss me? Yes, yes, I have. think puppets they're gonna they're gonna make me scared of puppets there is gonna be a lot of Hitler punching I think in the first episode of the second part <laughs> and I'm okay with that yeah it's it's gonna be interesting um that one scene where they show the doctor and his talks and stuff makes it I felt very Charlie Chaplin it does yeah um but we see a lot of familiar faces in this uh, in this trailer. Everything from Rory, uh, there we go, um, from Rory and Amy to the guy from the Lodger. I feel really bad. I can't remember his name. We also have, if I pull him up, the sexy gentleman here. Uh, One-eyed lady Cyberman, which is interesting. It looks like they're working together. And yes, the Cybermen have more than one reason to hate the Doctor. Um, So, Amy and Roy are come back really fast, it appears, Yeah. into the show. Uh, this looks kind of Alice in Wonderland thing. Yeah, I thought about that. Another spaceship. Um, I was hoping to try to get it. Because in one shot, I swear I, I see the face above. It's oh, further back. back. Yeah. But well, this is interesting, seeing her with the eye patch. Which I'm wondering if this is somehow feeding her information or mind controlling her or what. Um, I'll see if I can find the scene where I think I see the face of Bo. It's way back. Yeah, like a whole ten seconds back. Okay. Before or after the swarm? Right before this. Mm -hmm. Before. Before. I really wish this was in quick time. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone say that. Well, no, quick time I could go scene by scene. Yeah, the lack of this. So, okay, we'll see if we can get to the face of Bow Shot. Oh, and if you just saw that, it looked like we got Churchill back. Yep. There we go. I mean, that really does look like the face of Bow. The only thing I'm questioning is this eye color. Um, let me double check. I got this nifty new book over the weekend that has some real, it's a visual dictionary of Doctor Who stuff, especially the monsters. And let me just pop in here. I don't think his eyes are blue at all. I can't remember. Oh no, the face of Bo's eyes are red, but I mean, just looking at it, I mean, it looks very similar to the face of Bo. 
So I'm curious to see what this this alien's going to be. Do um, you guys have any uh, comments or observations? Amy's badass Amy. Well, I like it. We, we've had pirate Amy, and now we're going to have ninja Amy, or ninja samurai Amy, which is even hotter. I like River. Some River, the that silence. Is, oh, we beat freaking angels! Yeah. Why? See, that blue thing, could, I could have been mad. Damn you, Angel Bob. Makes you wonder who's in the suit. Since it's the one eyed lady speaking and narrating that one bit. Yeah. yeah. And I hate the fact that Moffat had to had to end the trailer with, haven't you figured it out yet? I mean that's a totally Moffat thing to do. They're about to cut to something else, man. Uh, replay. So, any observations? Want to say anything about it? Damn, the weeping angels and the silence. Maybe, maybe they'll have a staring contest. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be one of those other cases where we're going to see that this was a very, very misleading trailer. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, especially now with Moffat being the showrunner, it does. It won't surprise me at all. And actually, I'm wondering if the Weeping Angels are really the Weeping Angels, or if they're just figments of somebody's mind right now. But it's so great to see him back. Yeah. Um, I knew they was going to be back. I wasn't sure if it was going to be in the first half of the season or, or the second half. Um, I'm just glad that he's coming back. He was, I mean, such a great character. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of fun. So I'm glad to see him back. And the fact that they might have a kissing scene together just really <laughs> amuses me. To no end. Well, got a quota to meet even if Jack Harkness isn't around for this season. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, I, I'm, I'm really wondering if, if we won't get Jack by the end of the season or not. Because I, I do know that they do want Jack on the show at some point with, with, uh, with Smith. So, so anything else you want to say? Any observations? His name is Craig. Cool, because I could not remember that. Just checked it. Yeah. Because that was bothering me. I wanted to know who. And I'm curious about how Amy and Roy get into it's it's what it's time to kill Hitler. Let's kill Hitler. Let's kill, Let's Hitler. kill Hitler. Because clearly, you know, the Doctor leaves them at the end of that of that episode. Could this be a future Doctor? You know, could this be another Doctor out of sync with what we know him as a Doctor? Because, I mean, it clearly shows him running off to go save River. Baby yeah. River. It's a different suit. It's a different suit, different set of clothes. It actually... Is that a brown bow tie? Yes. Um, and if you notice, Rory's hair is different than when we last saw him. Yep. It looks a little bit shorter, a bit cleaner cut. Mm -hmm. So, I'm curious about where... It's you know, darker. Yeah, I'm, it's going to be very curious to see how this is going to work into that very first episode. It's my life. Oh, come on, kiss me. Yeah. We have more, another alien spaceship, which is interesting. We're going there, I guess. The, I'm curious. Let's see if I can get the go go. Ooh, I didn't notice that shot before. I want to take a look at those skulls again. Yeah. This is definitely Egyptian here. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe we're getting an Orient Express episode. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be cool. And that would really show stuff out of time. But this is interesting. I wonder what the ramifications of this are. And it appears that maybe this could be part of uh, Severman technology. Or maybe she's just the eye patch woman. Yeah. I Older? Was yeah. Wow, that would be really messed up. I doubt yeah. it. It'd be kind of dumb. It did cross my mind. Did do it. No, I was just trying to see if they had a silent skull or what was going on here. No, no, just, just skulls. Just skulls. Yeah, I hear that. I hear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did that dude have the same eye patch? No. I think the important thing, though, is that it, is, it doesn't look like the same layout as the... Yeah, he uh, does! 
The guy playing Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He has a non badge. Yeah, but he's got the same type. Yes. Oh, nice. The big thing I'm interested in, the hallway that monster was in was the same hallway it looked like the angels were in. Yeah. that uh, That's the hotel episode. Um, I don't know, I remember them talking about it, but because I've tried to stay away from spoilers, I don't know all the synopses. Maybe it's kind of like a funhouse kind of setting where, like, all the bad things come out. Well, they did, um, slip up and actually give spoilers for the last episode on the Today Show, or something with the Today Show, because Meredith Riviera is actually going to be in the 13th episode. Yeah. And they actually have her with Cybermen. So it should be really interesting that. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the silence, the Cybermen, and the one-eyed lady all come together. Universal Blast Trail Program Eight Strike the Time Lord Dead. Haven't you figured that one out yet? <clears throat> well, I mean, there are lots of. Lots of um, possibilities of who dies Just at the lake. Yeah. I mean, and who, who does the killing? Because, you know, the doctor did say that his ganger version could survive the, uh, the sonic screwdriver blast. Yep. So, because he's different than the other gangers. He's a Time Lord ganger. Yeah. So, any thoughts, feelings as we wrap this up this time? Moffat. The impossible astronaut will turn out to be Christopher Eccleston. Not the ninth doctor, Christopher Eccleston. <sighs> nice. I like that. So, until next time, this is uh, Gallifrey Pirate Radio signing off. <laughs>